think I could play at the next level, you know, maybe junior college and stuff like that, but I was definitely a late bloomer. So I didn't think I could play at the next level, like Division One level, I think, until probably I was a ha junior year of high school, maybe halfway through junior year. Um, but so like once a year, uh, the SAU coaches make a recruiting trip out to Colorado to, you know, to see some guys because Coach Strain knows some, you know, still has some friends over there, you know, in the baseball world. And so Coach Finn made a trip out to Greeley, Colorado, out in this cornfield. It's called the Bigfoot Turf Farms. And it was like this, you know, club tournament. And it was literally like a field of dreams field like in the middle of this cornfield in the middle of nowhere. But it's a really nice field. And um, so Coach Finn saw me there um, and he gave me a call within the next four days and then just took off from there. After that year, I mean, I've never really had to go through that, you know, the jump from high school baseball to like college baseball. I didn't think getting over that home is pretty tough. So I guess, you know, with my, you know, outings that I had, um, the biggest lesson I learned was I hate losing. So I think I really upped up my work ethic and, uh, you know, made me the pitcher that I am today. After my freshman year, I think my last outing, I went uh, in the conference tournament against Missouri State, who I think was ranked like eight that year nationally. They hosted like a super regional and everything, but I went, came out of the bullpen in our first game in our conference tournament, went six and two thirds and no hit baseball. So, you know, end of the season, you know, you know, on a really bright note. And so we just, you know, sat down and had to, you know, tried to make a game plan of what we needed to do to have more outings like my last one that I had of the year. And it was just basically getting, you know, consistency, you know, getting stronger. I needed to mature a little bit more. And then just when I got back here in the fall, you know, just working on, you know, mental preparation, you know, mechanics and stuff like that to make it. So all those really good outings that I have, I don't have those, just have more of those really good outings that I have. This freshman year was like the worst time of my life. <laughs> and last year was probably one of my favorite times I've had in the baseball. There was a huge jump I made in the my sophomore fall, you know, when I started throwing in you know, our scrimmages and stuff. So I knew I was like, man, you know, I'm starting to figure some stuff out. And I knew I finished, you know, really high last year, uh, you know, just nationally with all NCAA, you know, ERA wise. Um, but I didn't didn't know till shoot like a month before the season that I was, you know, as a starter, you know, the best ERA returning um, pitcher in NCAA. So I think, you know, I'm you know honored. Um, to you know, just have that opportunity to uh, you know represent Saluki baseball to you know in, on that scale. Um, I think just taking it one outing at a time, you know, not really getting caught up in all that all the media stuff. I mean, I can't can't really do anything besides just go out there, you know, have the same routine that I do from week in week out, and just prepare to the best I can with uh, each team that we face week to week.